Back when I was four years old, my mom dropped me off for preschool. And yes, I probably cried for like five to ten minutes since I didn't want her to leave. But after that, as she was leaving, my mom noticed that there was a mysterious bin by the doorway that other parents would take toys from and then take it home with them. So my mom, knowing that I like dinosaurs, looked into the bin, took a big brown dump. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She took a big brown T-Rex figure and brought it home. After I came home from school and she told me about it at night, I was pretty excited to play with it. And I clearly remember that I was holding it in my hands, admiring it. When we suddenly got a phone call, turns out it was my preschool teacher calling, asking if we had seen a missing dinosaur toy that belonged to my classmate, Richard. Hmm. So you know that mysterious bin from before? Yeah, apparently it wasn't a free toy bin. That was actually a show and tell bin, where the kids would show off and brag about their new toy to the rest of the class, and then their parents would take it from the bin when they were done. Oh, uh, okay, sh sure, I guess that makes sense. I still wanted to play with the toy though. Another time, my mom and Richard's mom were picking us up from preschool and walking with us outside of the classroom to get to our cars. When suddenly, I noticed a truck coming from the left of the parking lot. It was still quite far away from where we were, but boss music started playing louder and louder. Okay, mental math time. Triangles, straight lines, bisect angles. Ah! I started to book it right in front of this truck that was also speeding right towards me, going at, oh, I don't know, probably less than a mile an hour? I mean, this was a parking lot after all. See, in my not yet fully developed brain, I figured I could show off how fast I was by literally risking my life running past this truck before it could hit me. I mean, eh, looking back, maybe it wasn't the best way to show off my speed, but I mean, I was four. I barely knew how to think. So anyways, I was running as fast as I could. And when I was right in front of the truck, I took a quick glance to my left. I visibly smirked because I knew I could make it. And then I continued sprinting to the other side. Hey, <laughs> I am speed. <gasps> so yeah, I made it to the other side but my mom probably smacked me a few times on the cheeks that day. Ow, 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 ow. But hey, at least I didn't die. So moral of the story, don't run in front of a truck, run behind it instead. <laughs>